uplifting as it's been for the group to get these last two stops and, you know, as everybody's involved of the evolution of the defense? You know, I think it's been good for everyone, um, building confidence and, uh, you know, flipping that um, – the narrative on us, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, so be able to finish it on defense. Guys have been working super hard together as a team, as a unit, and uh, I think it feels good for everybody in the building. Okay. Yeah, I would say evolution. How to measure evolution and growth. That was what my direct okay. question. So that's where we are. Um, in, in, uh, having sacks on those two kind of close out drives over the last two games, like what's the mindset? Like you're within two minutes. Like is there something going through your head that's different than maybe in a different game situation? I think not only myself, it's just the whole defense, you know, knowing we got to go out there and get a stop. You know, it takes everybody to be out there, do their job, and uh, play the coverages that the coach want to play in that, in that moment. You know, from play calling to executing the play and to making something happen, you know, it takes everybody on defense. And it feels good for us as a unit to go out there and, and do what we need to do to come out with a win. So um, we want to continue to get better and, um, you know, build build up, you know, this defense and this team so we can be able to put a better complete game together. But it do feel good to come out in the, in the end and close it on defense. If, uh, if you look at your stat line, it's obviously really impressive. Do you feel like you're playing better than you have or maybe just getting different results? Um, you know, um, at the end of the day, you know, I feel like I'm doing, you know, the best I can to be the best I can, you know, for, for, for my team. And at the end of the day, I just want to go make plays um, that, that's there and allow other people to make plays and affect the game and um, which way is the best, you know. So um, it's, it's, a, it's a long season. I plan on um, trying to get a lot better as the season go on and just focusing on what's ahead, you know. And that's all I can control is what's ahead and the effort that I put in day in and day out and let the results take care of itself. So um, my main job, my main focus is to, you know, be the example for my teammates day in and day out, how we come in the building, how we go to work, and how we finish the day. And um, so and I, everything else will take care of itself. As that example, you're also seeing results at the end of it, right? That you're putting in the hard work and you're getting sacks and you're affecting these outcomes. I, I, I guess I'm just curious, you know, like as you look at what you've done so far, is it good to get off to a hot start personally? I know you're all. I, mean, I just think it's too early just to, to sit back and look at anything. I just okay. feel like there's so much football left and uh, so much ahead of, for us, you know, as a as a unit that we want to get done as a whole team. You know, getting back into division play this week, mm -hmm. I think it's going to be super super good for us going down there to a tough environment in Tampa and uh, controlling what we can, you know, playing, playing good down there and, uh, um, you know, showing the work that we put in, you know, as a whole unit. So I'm excited to see what's to come. Going back to, to, to his question, to, to, to see that you guys are, are making progress in certain areas kind of as you're going week by week, is that encouraging for the defense as well? Yeah, yeah, very encouraging. You always want to make progress. I think it's, it's uh, better for everybody. The more uh, reps and experience we get together and um, – just seeing, you know, some young guys make plays has just been awesome. You know, D offer go out there, close it for us, Richie the week before, and I just think it's um, really good. You're seeing some of the young edge rushers like Abe Katie come alive. You know, it's been, you know, Carter been a great um, addition for us. So, and seeing TQ, man, just seeing him grow and uh, into what I know he can be and what I told y'all in training camp what he could be, but he's just, you know, scratching the surface. So, um, it's very, very encouraging, and I'm super, super excited to be a part of this team. And um, I just I just know so much good things ahead, ahead of us. But we got a group of guys that's just hungry to work, man, day in and day out. And um, we know what we're capable of, and we're just excited to put it on the field. Going into this game against the Bucks, you know, Tom Brady, well, well, it might be obvious, but I mean, what are the biggest challenges in going against I mean, I, I just feel like it's the same question every year, you know, and I just feel like, you know, this man is the best of all time for a reason. You know, you got to give us due respect. And, um, you know, we know it's a challenge, you know. Um, he do a good job of leading his guys. He pl playing with him within himself is going to raise the level of everybody else around him. So um, I think he's, you know, since he's joined our uh, organization, it's just been a, um, you know, a breath of fresh air for them, you know, and uh, rightfully so and deservedly so because they go out there and put the work in. So it's going to be a heck of a challenge for us. And anytime you get to play, you know, somebody, you know, living legend, you know, it's always a, a honor to step on the field with them and uh, you know do your best. He's kind of he's kind of known for not liking that pressure right in his face. There for for you and those other interior guys, is that kind of a challenge? an opportunity for you guys. I mean, I think he done well with it in his 20-something plus career, you know, so I mean, we just going to go out there, do our best what we can do and try to try to get to him in whatever ways we can and um and um so I mean, it's nothing that he haven't seen. So, um so I mean, you, we just got to go out there and execute. Outside of Brady, what else stands out about the Bucks? Um, you know, all they always been a physical team. You know, I feel like even before, you know, he got there, their brand was always Tough, hard nose, run, run the ball, and uh, make some big plays downfield. You know, when you always got a receiver like Mike Evans on the outside, they help a lot. And uh, so, so definitely a tough team. You know, they've been tough on defense. You know, um, they they do a really good job in the in the run game and pass game with some nice DB. So, I mean, they they're a good solid team. You know, and um, 
that's why you want to be, you know, in a good division like NFC South. You know, get to play some good football twice a year against a good team, and you know, hopefully, old Falcons can. Also, another chance to get a division win. Yeah, without a doubt. You know, definitely. Um, it happens to be the next game on our schedule, and um, but you know, always good and want to get get a good division win, and you know, and uh, continue to try to set ourselves up. So you and Shaq Mason have battled over the years. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, do y'all see running to each other around town at all? Or? Well, sometimes we see each other, you know. Um, but uh, and like you say, we've been playing each other since college, and mm -hmm. de definitely, you know, so much respect, you know, for him uh, personally and as a player, and um, and just you know. It's, a lot of you know mutual support both ways, and mm -hmm. by the end of the day, you know whenever we compete against each other, you know it's always you know highly highly competitive, and mm -hmm. so you know it's always a super exciting matchup.